Ah, another busy summer day. You decide to wander down to Muscle Beach to work out. Your eyes oogling babes. Lost in your work, you nearly miss the Hollywood limousine that pulls in behind you. As the limo stops, a beautiful blonde emerges from the sunroof to announce... My name is Shallow, and I'm looking for one very good man. Out of the way, Bob. Let me at her. Move it. To appear on the new TV show, Stallion. Well, I guess you'll have to do. What's your name? My name is Larry. Larry Laffer. <laughs> oh, hell. Good enough for who it's for. After a few glorious moments in the back of the limo, in which you act out your favorite scene from No Way Out while Shallow acts out her favorite scene from Ice Station Zebra, you arrive at the studio and are escorted directly to the set where an episode of Stallions is being taped. And don't worry about thinking up answers while we're taping. We took the answers you gave us earlier and had our writers heat them up a little bit to make them acceptable to our uh, sophisticated viewers. So when it's your turn to answer, just read your cue cards and you'll be just fine. But wait, Miss Shallow. I didn't give you any answers earlier. I haven't gone out with these women. In fact, I've never even seen them before. Oh, don't worry, Lasser. Stallion number two is gonna lose anyway. Do. Places, people. Places. Lights. Playback. In five, four, three. Hi. From somewhere near Hollywood, California, it's the latest and greatest in embarrassment television. <laughs> Today, featuring three hot young fillies from the Mensa chapter of downtown Pasadena. And also featuring two of the hungest stallions we could pry away from Venice Beach. And now, let's all give a big winnie for the star of our show. Biff Stiff! Welcome back, everybody. Let's meet our contestants. Stallion number two is a professional bodybuilder and part-time out-of-work concrete form dismantler who credits his physical success to Herbivite. Let's hear it for Larry Laffer. Stallion number one is also a professional bodybuilder and an apprentice condom sizer who guarantees that around him, women come first. Really slam them together for rock hard. As you regular fans know, both of these stallions recently had a dream date with each of our three lovely fillies. Cocktails at sunset, a romantic dinner under the stars, dancing by moonlight, followed by a trip back to the stall for a little heavy breathing. Oops, I'm sorry, I meant heavy breathing. <laughs> and now let's meet our three little fillies.
Philly number one is a nuclear chemist specializing in zero gravity liquid fueled propulsion systems who has a mainframe computer right in her very own home. Yes, that's right, she really is a rocket scientist. How about some animal noises for Dr. Sharla Main? Philly number two also hails from Pasadena, where she leads a think tank specializing in international economics, monetary systems, and currency stabilization. Get it off for Dr. Sharla O'Hara. And finally, Philly number three is one hunk of prime horse flesh. With PhDs in marine biology, subatomic nuclear physics, and film studies, a woman who expects more from her man than just intelligent conversation, hoot it up for a while for Dr. Sharla Tan. I'm sure you all know the rules, so let's get right to the game. Larry, you're first. Me? Uh, I don't know. I'm not really prepared. Ah, uh, what the hell. Uh, I'll take Greek mythology for $500, Alex. That's about all of this we need to see, isn't it? Let's fast forward. And we're back with our contestants. Larry, what now? Um, could I buy a vowel, Pat? Yikes, this is not going well. Let's cut to the chase. And the winner of today's show, Rock Hard! Rock and Charla win an all-expense-paid cruise down the lovely Mexican Riviera with stops at Tijuana and Juarez. And our second prize goes to Larry Lapper. Immediately after the show, you'll travel by Studio Limo to the exclusive health spa and resort La Costa Lata, where you'll spend a wonderful two, some expenses paid, weeks. Thanks for watching, folks, and be sure to tune in again tomorrow for another episode of... <laughs> Stallions! Rock, honey, here's your tickets for the cruise. I'm afraid Charlotte won't be going with you. She opted for the cash payoff instead. But you won't be lonely. I'll be waiting for you in your cabin. Whatever. You come with me, doofus. That's Laffer. <laughs> Here's your limo, Lasser. Enjoy the ride. Wow! What a Cherry 73 pacer! Finally, your luck has changed, Larry. Two weeks at an exclusive health spa filled with gorgeous women. La Costa Lada, here I come! The woman behind the front desk is a real knockout. Although you can only see down to her waist, what you see is what you like. Good day, miss. My name is Larry. Larry Laffer? <laughs> I'm here as a guest of Stallions, that famous television show. 
How do you do, sir? I'm Gammy Boisule, Head of Human Services and Customer Relations here at La Costalada. My job is to make sure your visit here is everything your heart desires. And less. I suppose we could begin by checking into my room. I do have a room, don't I? Oh, but of course, Mr. Laffer. Stallions has taken care of everything for you. Here's your key. You're in room 201, one of our finest suites right at the top of those stairs, conveniently located near the ice machine, elevator, and kitchen exhaust fans. I'm sure you'll find it well worth the price you paid. Say, baby, what time do you, uh, get off? <sighs> Usually right after I get in bed. Oh, uh, what was the question again? Finally, the right place. Yuck, the water coming out of the sink is brown. Run your hand over the lavish carpeting. Ugh, what's this stuff in my hand? Ah, they smell wonderful. The pink telephone services card reads, The blue spa services card reads... The red housekeeping services card reads... Yes, hello, this is Building Maintenance, Landscaping and Grounds. May I please to be helping you? Hello? There's brown water coming out of my bathroom sink. Is there anything you can do about it? Ah, yes, but of course, Mr. Laffer. I am so sorry. Let me send up one of our best men. Right away, pronto, soon, quick, quick. Oh, and please to be accepting our sincere apology for any inconvenience and perhaps if you are suffering. Ah, uh, perhaps I can make some adjustment to your bill. Please, just a moment while I check the computer. Oh, I see. Never mind. Uh, Mr. Laffer, I'll be sure to send up somebody sometime, maybe in a few hours, maybe never. And please, don't bother calling back. <laughs> <laughs> 